Hey guys, welcome back to the layout once again. I uh, just have a quick layout update for you today. Um, as you can see, up here in Crawford, we actually have quite a bit of track work done. Um, so, well, first off, I should say, I hope you guys had a good holiday season and um, looking forward to the new year. Um, and speaking of, uh, this was kind of my present, uh, getting a bunch of tracks. So as you can see, I installed a bunch of turnouts here and you'll also notice that I actually have that second main line in. So originally, we only had uh, this track way over here in um, and what I've gone ahead and done is put the second main line in um, I have yet to really continue this this track back here actually needs to go through the wall but aside from that uh, everything else is in and one change that we made uh, during the construction of this was we are actually using micro engineering flex track over here and this stuff actually already has uh, weathered rails which is really nice um, and micro engineering flex track is a little different because um, it actually you have to bend it to shape and then it holds its form. So I go into a little detail in that uh, in the last uh, construction video, so you can check that out if you want. Um, but the track work here in Crawford is basically just how it is in the prototype. I've simplified things a bit in that um, I've reduced the the number of tracks. So like over here, um, the inside track here closest to main two. Uh, is the helper pocket and in reality there's um, one stub end helper pocket and then another track that's frequently used a run through track like you see here uh, that also holds locomotives but for our purposes I just included one helper track and then this track that curves off the edge of the layout here uh, this is for um, an interchange track and again in reality there are actually three interchange tracks that swing off north um, but we only really have room for one. But anyway, all the elements are really included. I even have the crossover here. Um, so I think it really looks good. All the track work turned out nice, and I just got it all wired up, which is my least favorite part of modeling, just because it's so tedious, and uh, when you turn it all on and find out that you forgot to wire up part of a turnout, it's just frustrating. But uh, anyway, I got that all done. You can see I have the track power on. Um, so if we go ahead and walk down this way, you can see just a better look at the second main line that went in. Um, and I think it turned out really nice. So the, this flex track is just, it looks a little different, but by the time we weather it and all, um, I think it's gonna look fine. So there'll be no problem there. So I'm just gonna continue on this way. We come around the uh, Crow Butte horseshoe curve down here, the lower horseshoe curve. And then right here is uh, the turnout where it goes into single main line. Um, and really that's all the track work that I've gotten done um, on the layout, but I'm really happy with uh, how that all turned out. So obviously there's a lot to do around the rest of the layout, um, but at least in this section, I think the next step is really uh, just finalizing a couple things, but then it's, it's on the scenery for the most part, um, which seems kind of early because we still don't have signals or anything in, but that's, that's where it's like we're at a pretty good uh, pretty good spot over here to begin scenery, um, not so much elsewhere on the layout, but I think our focus uh, for now will be getting in you know, the rest of the track work. But anyway, before we wrap up, uh, I have one other thing to show you really quick. All right, so the other thing, actually I lied, there's, there's one other thing after this, but anyway, the other major thing that I got uh, was this diesel house. Um, so that, if I back up here and turn around, try not to spin around too quickly so I don't make you guys vomit, but uh, this whole void here needs to be filled in with um, sub road bed, which I will do hopefully this weekend when I get that desk out of there. Um, and once I get that sub road bed in, um, that diesel house will go down in this corner here, and that'll be kind of like the main uh, the main structure of our facility or our servicing facility area. We'll probably have another prefab building and then uh, sanding racks and fueling racks and all that good stuff. But I'm really excited to have this because uh, you can see a lot of the structure is glass. Um, so eventually we'll get lighting inside and um, all sorts of, maybe like the crane structure and then uh, inside we'll also have the service pits which will be pretty cool um, and we'll just have to detail, uh, detail it up quite a bit. Um, so that'll be a really cool structure once we get that built. And then the final thing, which is, this is just kind of a cool little toy to have um, and I want to get more, is uh, this is River Point Station. Um, this is actually the first Riverpoint Station vehicle that we've had because they're impossible to find. Uh, but 
eventually I want to decal this up um, for BNSF. It could be some, you know, operations supervisor. Because uh, I think they actually made a Ford Explorer uh, operations supervisor van. Um, but who knows, maybe this could be a, you know, crew transport or whatever. But we'll make that BNSF and that'll be super cool. So anyway, guys, uh, that's really all I have for you. Just wanted to quickly show you uh, what I've done here uh, in Crawford. Um, and because it's all done, I'm gonna have another uh, construction video up soon. And then also, I'm gonna be doing some running videos as well, just for fun, because you know, running trains is good for the soul. So uh, I'll get this up to you guys soon. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and be sure to come back soon because I'll have uh, more work done next time.